Experiencing coughing and watery eyes will tell you you're not alone. Experts say this week in Central Texas we had one of the highest cedar pollen counts. Now, we spoke with an allergist where the cedar fever allergies are most common. The allergist uh, we spoke with says cedar fever is most common between December and February. The unfortunate part is that it's most common in Central Texas. One patient we spoke with says she's been fighting allergies her entire life. Central Texas, home to lots of green. But in it, sneaking around, causing misery, are those cedar trees. The cedar pollen come this time of the year. It's a juniper family. It's the same thing as what the pine trees are. But for some reason, it grows only in the central Texas. The pollen causing coughs, <coughs> watery eyes, and headaches. It feels like a bad case of the flu. Margaret Clausen is no stranger to these symptoms. All my life, I've been allergic to cedar. A familiar face at the allergist office. There you go, Miss Margaret. You. you have a great day. The cedar pollen starts coming out in mid after Thanksgiving, and then it lasts for three months. Usually, like end of February, it's gone. Other symptoms include nasal blockage, sore throat, and fatigue. It can be any age. Anyone can have it, and once it starts, it keeps getting every year. It keeps getting worse. Doctors suggest limiting outdoor exposure and frequently taking showers to remove pollen. Also, one common remedy, allergy shots. You know, it's not going to last forever, so you just endure and um, take all the precautions you can. Other precautions include bathing pets often, even if they live indoors, remove dust collectors such as unnecessary rugs and carpets that could store pollen, and most importantly, visit an allergist.